In this episode, we are going to look at 10 different APIs you can start using for free today to start building some interesting projects. So if you've been struggling to come up with some new ideas for things to build and practice coding, stay right here because you will have lots of ideas by the end of this. Everyone likes to eat, right? So why not build a cool recipe app or a food based app with the Sponacular API? So they have so much comprehensive information here to build most types of food apps. And if you go into the docs here, you will see that they have things for everything. One of the really nice, cool ideas I see here is even wine pairings, because that's something most of us are bad at. So maybe a wine pairing application could go very well and it could be pretty useful if you like your fancy dinners. Maybe games are more your thing. So the deck of cards as an API is an awesome API that lets you easily keep track of a deck of cards. So you could maybe make a blackjack game, poker game, or maybe your favorite drinking game, uh, because we're always looking for party games when we get groups of people together. So something like that could go very well. And as you can see here, there is little APIs for everything. And they're very simple to follow here as well. So not too difficult to work with, but you could make some very interactive applications. Giphy is a GIF service that lets us, you know, pick out funny GIFs to send to our friends usually. It's used by lots of big companies, as you can see in the carousel down here, by like Facebook, Twitter. And I'm sure if you've used any social networks at all, you've probably come into contact with Giphy. So their API is super comprehensive and you can build so many different things. So they have software development kits for, or SDKs for, Android, iOS, web, and you can jump straight in. They even have some UI templates and everything you can jump straight into and grab even more. I think you need to grab a key with these like most of them, but here's some samples of some of the stuff you might grab out of it sticker wise or just, you know, cute dogs. These are all important things if we're making entertaining apps. So definitely check out the Giphy developers API. How about a simple advice app? Well, with the advice slip JSON API, we can grab some advice from a huge collection of bits of advice and display it to our users. If you take a look here, the documentation is pretty short and you can do things by searching for a certain type of advice or look for advice by ID or the one I'm usually just grabbing when I'm, I've built anything with this is just a random piece of advice. And that just gives us back an object with some advice. And since it doesn't show us a preview here, let's zoom in. And here you see we get back an object with a key of slip. And inside that object, we get our advice. Let's jump on back. So I think this is uh, one of those simpler APIs in this list. So definitely one to check out if you're just getting to grips with some APIs. Back to the games. And with J service, we have access to over 150,000 trivia questions. You also get some cool APIs, like if you're looking for clues or uh, answers or random things, you can hit those endpoints to grab them. So you could make a pretty cool quiz app here by using just this API. And here's a sample response. There are very readable objects that you get back with IDs, answers, the question. And yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this API. I haven't built an app with this yet, but I think it would be awesome. Something I've seen a lot of lately is 
the Netflix style or YouTube style uh, grid layouts. And to practice that and not have to have a lot of images yourself or information on lots of different random things, maybe something like the OMDB API, which basically has every movie in the world as an API, uh, is kind of the way to do it. You could grab some real data and dynamically create a pretty awesome web app. So you can see lots of different queries here. You can search by different parameters here. I know when I was learning React that this was the first API I used to get used to prop drilling and all of those kind of things. So I'm a big fan of this API here. Another fun one is the fun translations API. With this, you can give a phrase to the API and it will give it back in one of the nerdiest way possible. I like the Yoda speak translator, um, but like if you're a fan of different things, they have Elf, Hodor, Orcs. Oh, I haven't even seen this. You can, you know, everyone loves Jar Jar Binks. So you could, you know, get some Gungan out of there if you wanted. There is so many random things in here that you could have a lot of fun with this. So if we take a look at the docs, hit the API and as you can see what you do is you are just hitting the translate API nothing too complicated and let's pick a random one here I'll take the Yoda API since it's the first one and we can post to Yoda some text which is just a string and here's what our response will look like so if we sent a text of master Obi-Wan has lost a planet it gets translated to lost a planet Master Obi-Wan has. So pretty cool and very nerdy. This one could be very popular and that's the dog API. So the dog API gives you dogs as a service. So who isn't going to love that? And you can vote on dogs, look at breeds, image searches, add favorites, upload them. It's a cool one because it gives you lots of different abilities that you could practice a lot of your skills with. And also everyone just likes to look at dogs anyway. So it's going to go down very well with people you're showing. And if we hit the docs, they're fairly straightforward. The likes of breeds, if we hit into this and we're looking for the list of breeds, you can see that they take query parameters. So you can just go slash breeds and give it a query parameter to grab uh, a different breed or a limit on the different breeds you get back. So a pretty simple API to use, but you know, who's not going to love it? You get dogs. The last couple I'm going to go over are a little bit more uh, nerdum because I like all this stuff to be fair. And this one is the Marvel API. It's a really comprehensive collection on Marvel. And it's lots of fun if you are into comic book heroes. So there is interactive documentation. It's very easy to get a key for this. And you can see here all the different types of requests you can hit off here to grab different things. So maybe you want to grab some comics or characters, you name it. If it's Marvel related, you can probably grab it out of this API. The last one I'm going to touch off it's something I use a little bit in my tutorials and even workshops, and that's the Poke API. And it's also just because I grew up playing Pokemon, so I really like all this stuff as well. And with the Poke API, you can grab all the different information, including pictures and things of different Pokemon. So maybe you want to make a Pokedex or a little random Pokemon display or some Pokemon cards. Well, with this API, you can grab all the information you need. So if we look for ditto, you'll get a ditto. Maybe we can say Pikachu and submit. And you'll see you get back lots of different information on it. So you get the names, uh, the, of the type of electric, and there is even more 
information here so you could go and drill down into where you'd encounter them. If you like Pokemon, you can get really crazy things out of this. I, I've, as I said, if you're looking at any of my React stuff, I think a couple of my React hooks videos are using this as an example. And I'm pretty sure Ken C. Dodds used this a lot in his tutorials as well. So hopefully this has given you lots of ideas for things you could build. And if you have a favorite API or something fun that you've come across that I didn't mention in this video, leave it in the comments below so other people can find it as well. And until next time, happy coding.